Hey, good evening, my friends. I am Metaphysical Mike. I hope every one of you had an amazing day. It's around 10 p.m. Eastern Time. This is seven things you can do before bed to sleep better. Usually I do stuff on the spiritual awakening. We've done stuff on astral projection. We've done stuff on advice for anxiety and depression. But now I want you guys to have a better night's sleep. So I got some solution and remedies to make it a better night's sleep. Number one is if you can, honestly, Try to limit your time that you're spending on the computer or your phone. That, that, that screen all night is going to keep us up and you know we're not going to be able to sleep well. When you're on your phone and you're constantly looking at it, you know, you're texting a friend or you're um, uh, just you know, on Google or something listening to something, it's not good because that radiation and stuff is not going to help you sleep. You got to just be on the screen, spend less time on your phone or on your computer before you go to sleep. Number two. Try reading a book. Now I know some of us don't really read books uh, before we go to sleep. Most of us spend time, you know, playing video games. But I mean, there's nothing wrong with video games earlier in the day, in my opinion. But I believe that you should be reading a book. Now I'm not saying you have to, you know, spend, you know, an hour or two reading. But you know, it's good to. Knowledge is key. Knowledge is power. If you want to increase your capacity of your brain. It's really good to read before you go to bed. It doesn't have to be a book about, you know, Twilight Saga. It doesn't have to be about Justin Bieber. It could be about, you know, how to improve your life, how to do different stuff. I've read some books about, you know, manifesting. What do you want? And this will basically um, help your subconscious mind unconsciously while you're sleeping. This will help unconsciously you um, uh, go to a deeper state. Number three. You want to try to listen to 432 hertz frequency or 532 hertz um, frequency. Um, this is like self alga beats. Or you, look on, you can look up delta, delta um, waves. Like delta waves are great for the brain. It relaxes the left and right hemisphere of the brain. And basically, you know, when you want to go to sleep, your brain sometimes, you know, we have thoughts and stuff and it's tough at times. So a great technique is to, before you go to bed, is to listen to... 532 hertz frequency, you can look this up on your phone or uh, plug in headphones. But it's better to do with the lights off. You want to turn the lights off and you want to limit as much um, uh, brightness as possible. So put some headphones in and just, you know, lay back and try to think about all the great stuff. Number four, you want to think about all the great stuff and be grateful um, for w everything that went well today and picture what you want. Like go to sleep, before you go to sleep at night and you like, when you like um, lay your head down on the pillow, think about what went well today and what would be an amazing day tomorrow. Like how could you make tomorrow even more amazing and picture the day like I'm like the, one of the best days of your life tomorrow. Number five. To really get a good night's sleep, I suggest limiting sugar before you go to bed. This includes potato chips. This includes dark chocolate. This is going to stimulate your brain and caffeine is terrible. So I, I would eliminate all sugary drinks. I would eliminate different stuff such as um, chocolate. It's not, you know, a good snack before you go to bed is to have like carrots or celery. You know, having a few chips wouldn't hurt or having a red pepper, having an avocado, that would be better. Um, compared to like having like a you know a Coca Cola or a Red Bull, that's just gonna keep you up, and your brain is never gonna be able to um, go to sleep. Number six, write down affirmations before you go to sleep. Write down stuff like I can easily fall asleep now. Um, my whole entire body, my cells are in harmony with the divine spirit. Or write down stuff like I am falling asleep. You know this is called hypnotic writing. You know put music on in the background. And put on music that, you know, relaxes your mind, body, and spirit. It's going to make you feel calm. So I would suggest um, trying guitar, uh, piano is great stuff. You can look this stuff up on YouTube. Or, you know, you can sing. Singing is a good way. Just, you know, humming, you know, it's like go, um, um. You know, all the monks and stuff this, did this in Tibet and in this valley. So humming is really good. It actually changes um, it, it basically, what it does is by this like chanting going um, it changes the chemistry in the left and the right hemisphere of the brain and it actually releases neurons across the body and you're actually going to feel calmer, you're going to feel this dopamine kicking, you're going to feel the serotonin levels rising, you're going to feel this romantic, passionate feeling, a, a good sense of direction like, you know what, I am doing well. Number seven, the seventh thing you should do to get a better night's sleep. 
This is gonna surprise you, in my opinion. I would suggest before you go to sleep, making sure you are very comfortable. It is tough to go to sleep at night and to, you know, just have like a rough surface. So, you know, try to get comfortable as possible. Try to, you know, picture yourself just falling asleep very easily, and this should help you greatly. I hope every one of you enjoyed. This was seven things you can do before bed to sleep better. I hope this was effective. I hope you all have a great night's sleep. Peace and love, sending all greatness, and you guys are gonna sleep really well tonight. Just focus on a really restful night. Peace and love to all, and thank you for watching.